as Definitely well. Definitely be bringing updates on that as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. The conversation does, however, continue with regards to party politics. The federal government yesterday assured that the gale of defections from the nation's party politics will not shield any corrupt politician from investigation and prosecution. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, gave the assurance when he paid an official visit to the Abuja office of the Authority newspaper. Fielding questions from members of the editorial board of the paper, the minister said that defection, even to the APC, would not immune politicians who had looted the nation's economy from being prosecuted. Quote unquote, he stated, Nigerians should be rest assured that the fact that some persons are moving from one party to another does not mean that they will escape prosecution. Nobody will escape investigation and prosecution <coughs> on the ground that he or she has moved to the APC. Now, Chukudi, this is very interesting to me because just yesterday we were speaking about President Muhammadu Buhari's lovely meeting in London. So how do we take this? You see, the truth is, you see, somebody actually told me that, you know, he has seen my segment on Hello Nigeria and he knows when I want to say, you see, the truth is, <laughs> I'm going to say it again. <laughs> see, a lot of Nigerians have lost confidence in the system. Why? Because they cannot, by the very organization, composition, and operation of the major political parties in Nigeria, that is the LPC and the PDP, tell any difference <clears throat> in ideology if there is even an existing ideology. And this is because these politicians just want to perpetuate themselves in power. And all they do is because they consider politics as a game of numbers, will try to outdo their rivals or, in quotes, <clears throat> competitors. See, Nigerians need to understand, and I keep saying it, a Gebra will not come from heaven with a manual to say, this is how to set the country right. We understand that people do not obey the law, and they do whatever they want, because ideally, if we go by the laws of our country, unless the political party is fragmented in the sense that you have people claiming, uh, uh, you have different people claiming leadership of that political party, just like when we had the PDP crisis, where you had Alimodu Sherif and McCarthy factions, mm. you cannot come out and declare that you are no longer uh, you want to defect from that political party. But what we have seen in Nigeria is people crisscrossing. Ideally, if you defect, you lose your position. But because it suits this political party or that political party, they argue and distort the law or turn it upside down. Nigerians need to understand whether this person is under here or here, if the person does not represent your interest, you are going to suffer for it. But check this out. He actually said that we have shown that with a former governor and a member of our party that was convicted. We will never terminate anybody's prosecution on the ground of decamping. But is that enough ground for us to then say, yeah, the APC is a very, very good party when it comes to integrity? I beg to differ with the Honorable Minister, who is like my father. He's not my father, Chabo. He's like my father, you know, Alaji Lai Mohamed. See... This is not about President Mohamed Buhari or about the APC or about the PDP or about one government that is different from the other government. Government exists in continuum. We want to live in a country whether, whether you defect from the PDP to the APC or the APC to the PDP. If you are involved in any nefarious activity, the law is going to take its course. Whether you're the president, whether you're the governor, whether you're a senator, or whether you are a public office holder, if you err, since we are all subject to the rule of the law, you are going to go through the natural process and you'll be dealt with. We don't want the situation where people, in order to scotch political points, we come out and be inundating us with stories. We are tired of hearing that. Kudos. Because, in fact, I would want to even, you know, the, when we discuss the story of Joshua Darye going to prison, our, man, our human crush was the fearless and fiery judge that insisted that they were going to go through with that particular case. We don't want a situation where you begin to tell us, hey, under that government, they did not do it. With this government, we are doing it. We want things to be done in the right way. Whether it is this party or that party, anybody that has cheated the people of Nigeria by stealing our collective patrimony must go through the natural process. If you are discharged and acquitted, fine. If you are convicted, fine. But the law must take its course since we insist that we are all subject to the law. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.